Race, third best American ever. Yeah, yeah, no, um, I'm excited. Uh, this is just a world of difference from last year. So um, to be able to be there and feel like I'm really in the race and attacking um, is really exciting. And if ninth is the best that I have today, that's what it is. And um, I hope that I can just keep showing up and one day that'll be a medal, so. Is the biggest difference just being healthy this time or is there anything else that's different? Yeah, I mean, being healthy is just so much more. Um, such an advantage for me. I've just like last year, I was just going out and not even wanting to run. So to be able to turn around and get surgery in the fall and then just be excited about training again and excited about racing is like a whole new um, world of difference because here I am like going just like, what can I do today? Rather than being like, how am I going to recover from this and like go to the next race? Can you take us through the race a little bit, especially the last, say three laps? Yeah, I could tell from the beginning it was uh, going for sure, but I actually really surprised myself because I felt like throughout the race I just kept feeling stronger and um, more relaxed. So I knew there was going to be a big breakthrough, especially with, um, I think it was about six-ish, six to seven laps to go, that they really started to wind it up. And it made me a little nervous because I was like, oh, this is still pretty far out. But I just like tried to stuck my nose in it and then um, tried to hang as long as possible. And then I think about two laps to go, I kind of got missed the move and so that was a little hard and I just had to race the uh, next group and just really tried to execute every person that I could. You come behind Safan Salik for quite a bit toward the last part of that field. Yeah. Like a comfortable place to be, a good spot to be. And Yeah, it actually did. Um, I just tried to really zone out behind her because I knew that she was going to be with them and I knew she wasn't going to miss a move so it was able to, I was able to let myself really relax and just be like, okay, just focus on her and run this race with her, so. Did you have a time or place goal in mind today? Coming in? Um, definitely not this big of a PV and that's exciting, but with these kind of conditions, you never know what could happen. Um, Place-wise, I really just wanted to be in the top 10 and be in contention, honestly. Last year, just um, I got lapped in this race, so um, to be able to be there and feel like I'm in the race is really exciting, and I'm very excited for the 5K. Um, on Wednesday. <laughs> How'd you feel coming off of USA's running so many races there? Yeah, I um, actually felt better than I thought I would. I was just a little nervous with the Achilles because 1500s is a lot to ask from it, but it came off of it really well. So I just know I'm like in a really good place fitness wise and health wise. Which event do you think you're better at right now, 5K or 10K? Um, I don't know, I mean, that's a huge PB in the 10K, so um, if I can PB like that in the 5K, I mean, that would be definitely the better event, but um, I am learning to like the 10K more and more, but the 5K always has like a special spot in my heart, so. What has been your personal reaction to your coach, Jerry, deciding to get back into the college scene and take that organ job? Yeah, I mean, it's a, kind of comical. I mean, it's here, so um, to, I've gotten a couple of people asking about, um, are you excited about the move and stuff? But um, yeah, I'm just really excited for them. I think this is a big opportunity, and um, the team is going to be like, sorry, I need to go. But I think this is going to be an exciting move for the team, just because, I mean, this is track town, and we'll get like that Hayward fan base around, and there's going to be so many championships at this meet and at this um, facility and I feel like just even today kind of got a taste of that just like coming out onto the track and just hearing my name and like hearing people really cheering um, for us and I feel like we'll really get that just being here training here and getting to train on priest trail every day so yeah it's pretty surreal. What you make of him like he's going to have a lot more athletes to coach at this point so you worried that might be you want to buy attention or how do you think you'll handle that you'll handle yeah, I mean, it's going to be difficult just handling, obviously, a pro team and a huge college team, but I really think if anyone can do it, it's Jerry, so, and if anyone's going to be really, like, motivated to prove people wrong, it's him, so um, I'm excited to see where this goes and excited to see him really build up um, our programs together. Do you have a lot of family here today? It's your grandpa? Yes, yep, my grandma and grandpa are here, and my aunt and uncle and my parents and my family, so, so many yeah, people. lots of people. Okay. Uh, gosh, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, very fun. Yeah. So what happens now? Do you go home for a few days? So I might go to Portland for a little bit and mm -hmm. then relax and, and reset and then come back here for the 5K. Okay. Yeah. Congrats. Thanks. Thank nice you.